This print scores 79. And a challenge from Rob. Rob's on 86. There's an 82 in the silver range. Uh, 78, 76 and a 75. Rob? Um, this, uh, this print is uh, incredibly powerful and you probably don't realise if, you know, when, when you visit somebody with dementia, that's kind of what happens. Um, they, at an advanced stage of dementia, you know, they, you go to pretty well look at them and you go there from the goodness of your heart because of all the reasons, um, whether it's, you know, whatever family reason, but that's kind of what happens in the background. You, you sit down, you're there purely to be there and it's, <laughs> and it's not unusual to nod off. And and that's exactly kind of what's happened there. But his grandson, her grandson, is there. He's he's he probably does a you know visit at regular intervals. But there's not much else to do. But he sits there and he wonders and thinks. And and that has been conveyed in that shot. It's it's as I say, it's kind of such a powerful shot. But but doesn't probably doesn't convey that way initially. But everything there is uh, all the elements there for a. a a, a shot that um, is, is is tells that story. I'd like to hear from Mel on 76 and then Adam. I really wanted to um, go into the silver range for this, so I am listening. Um, I think what is holding it back for me is that there's elements there that are just sort of distracting the, the end of the uh, bed, perhaps. Elements. The elements were distracting, yep. Yeah, I know, they're a noisy bunch next door. We're going to have to start yelling and we got told off for being loud earlier. Mm -hmm. um, the the bottom part of the frame where the, the bed is coming into it, I feel is um, a little bit distracting. And what I do like about that section of it is the leading lines that are going into the the lady there. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of how this could be done better. But I, I do like the narrative. It's a very subtle narrative. So I'm listening. I just need some good reasons to, to get it up into that silver range. Adam had it in silver at 82. What I, what I, I, I am attracted to the narrative that I got from uh, this thing. And what I'm attracted to, apart from the, con the technical control in the main part of the image, there are, you know, there's flaring, it's difficult lighting, but it is well controlled. But the, the, the grandson is in her spot because that's what those elements her slippers and her things she tells me that that's her normal spot because she's ready to get onto a walker and she's ready to slip into her shoes but while she's in bed he he's there and he's in her spot and even the mirroring between the way that they you know the lines of their legs and the lines of the legs that come down and point you towards those little clues that this is her spot i think it's well seen and you know it, it, it it's a very peaceful moment it's very and I realise we're in documentary, but it feels very natural. It's not something that you know is contrived or or, or forced. And I feel like it's it's a moment where we've got this complete stillness and a real mirroring between the old and the new subject, and everything sort of points you to that narrative. And I, I, I think it's it's worth rewarding with the silver because of just the the ability to see that that storyline within what would be a very calm scene. Rob, you're right of reply. Uh, yeah, and it's it's see, it's no disrespect that he's um, that he's sat in there and 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 nodded off because it can be uh, you can might sit there for an hour and uh, and nothing happens and but but it's you're there from the goodness of your heart because of all the good reasons and uh, uh, and he might be waiting for her to wake up to get into the walker and he'll take her down take her for a bit of a a, a, a bit of a you know might have lunch or any of those kind of stories that could possibly happen i'm not worried about the the end of the bed there's a few things like that i think uh we put it into silver for uh the uh, the narrative the powerful narrative that it is so our average score is 79 rob has an 86 but everyone else can change their score if they wish print scores 81 silver award Next print, please. You're stepping off? Morgan, can you step on for Sarah, please? 
To some a father, to others a grandfather, to some a friend, to others a brother, to some an old man, to others a mentor, to all a widow, and to all a loved one. This print scores 79. Mel, could you give us a comment about this one, please? You're on 78. Um, I think with this, this one, I wasn't given enough in the image to connect me to the narrative. Um, so with it, the documentary sort of subject, you're kind of looking for something to, that it, it's going to tell you. And I, I just wasn't feeling it with this. But it's been really well captured. So from a technical perspective, it's actually pretty good. Um, therefore, for me, it fell into that 78 range, which was that, um, that really good uh, professional practice. Thank you. Next print, please. Next print, please. Loved and nurtured one minute forgotten and unimportant the next. This is the reality of sur surrogacy. Once a surrogate's job is done, she quickly fades into the background as the new family and their baby take all the focus. Lani? Yep. Oh. Do you need me to repeat the caption, guys? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Loved and nurtured one minute, forgotten and unimportant the next. This is the reality of surrogacy. Once a surrogate's job is done, she quickly fades into the background as the new family and their baby take all the focus. And just for the benefit of our audience, our judges are able to step off the panel at any time for any reason. And we've always got spare judges in to, to fill their shoes, just for one print. This print scores 85, a silver with distinction. And thank you to Lani and Morgan for stepping in for that one. Next print, please. There is no caption for this image.
Liz Prince scores 73. Is that a comment, Adam? Yes, please. Um, when I look at this Im image and any, any, any sort of low key or high key image, it's the it's the it's the bit that's not consistent with the rest of the frame that pulls me out, and it's the 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 tiny area at the top right of the frame which pulls me out of of actually looking into that. The concept is good. I just think it, it, it for that consistent sort of look to really focus in on the the the, the um, subject. I'm drawn away to that top area in the right top right hand side there. Thank you, Adam. Next print, please. There is no caption for this image. This print scores 81, silver award. Mel, you were bang on the average. Can you give us a comment, please? Yeah, this is um, a great little silver. It's got all the elements it needs to. It's got some lovely leading lines coming into a really interesting subject. Um, it's showing exactly where they're at. And it's just going, because of all those elements coming together, it's just lifting it up enough to bring it into that silver range. Thank you. Next print, please. A team of specially trained dogs compete in the annual Idiot Rod in Alaska. And I apologise if I said that incorrectly. This is the start of a 1,000 mile journey where conditions can deteriorate very rapidly in the Arctic conditions. These dogs are excited to finally be on their way. By majority, this print scores 79. Mel's going to challenge. She's on 84. And uh, for the benefit of our audience, it's a majority 79 because we have three of our judges in the 70s, even though our average score was 80. But Mel's going to talk to us and try and bring it up to a silver. Go right ahead, Mel. Oh, I'll tell you your scores, sorry. Uh, there's yourself on 84. There's another 81. Two 78s and a 79. There's some technical issues with this. It's not the um, the best print that it could be. But um, I want to reward the author here for capturing a moment that you just don't see. These dogs are mad for this stuff and he's completely nuts. There's this one dog in there that is the hero of this photo. He's dragging you straight in there and he is determined to drag the rest of this pack kicking and screaming into wherever they're going. He probably doesn't even know where they're going, but he's mad about it. So I just love the expression and the emotion and the even there's snow flying and you can even, the, the composition at first I thought maybe that's not quite right either, but you actually need some space for these dogs to run into. So I really believe that this is a really good solid silver image. I think it could even go higher if it was presented better. Um, and a little bit, um, we were talking about sharpness a bit earlier. I think the sharpness is there. I just don't think it's been processed enough to, to bring out that sharpness. So um, I'm going to encourage people to come up into that silver range. Thank you, Mel. Uh, Chris, you're on 78. 
Yeah, um, it, it, very solid image. It didn't quite have enough for me to get over that line. Um, I'm unsure whether it's allowed, but um, uh, uh, the the snow, w which I'm assuming is, is beautiful, fluffy white, just starting to look a, t a, t a tad a tad blue. Um, that that for that reason, I, I I couldn't I couldn't put it up, but I'm, I'm definitely still listening. I, I'm happy that the sharpness is is, is there. Um, and and it, it, his expression is quite priceless. His or hers expression is quite priceless. Yes. Adam, you saw it as a silver at 81. Yeah, I think for the same reasons that you, you were talking about, is it, it's very engaging and it is sharp. It is sharp in all the places you want it to be. What pulled me back a little bit from going up to the, that sort of solid silver range, uh, sitting a little bit on the fence, is maybe just the thought to, of really, you know, I really want to be focused in on that expression. And whether it's a crop or whether it's uh, some some sort of post that could be, um, you know, done some sort of natural vignetting or something like that, I do think it needs the leading that that space as well. And I think it engages enough that it's it's well seen and and elevates it into that silver range. And Mel, you're right of reply. Yeah, I think um, being that this is a state awards, we can um, have this author go and revisit this particular image. Uh, but I do believe, as it stands at this point in time, it is definitely worthy of a silver, just simply because of the action that's been caught. This is documentary. You can't do anything to it. Snow's cold, so it should be a bit blue, in my opinion. Um, and I, I think that um, there's some fabulous potential for this to go a lot higher. So I'd like to see my judges come up into silver with me. So our majority score is 79. Mel holds an 84. Everyone else plays rescore. Prince scores 82, silver award. <laughs> Time for another judge change. Thank you, Sarah. And we'll bring on Alana McTiernan. And we'll have the next print, please. I missed you, Mama. A young girl welcomes home her mother who has been away for three months. This print scores 81, silver award. And Adam would like to challenge that from 88. There's an 84, 82, 77 and a 76. Adam? I look at, at silver distinction and, and see professional excellence and superior visual communication and it's right there in front of you. And yes, you know, it, it is a, a documentary capture, but in these crowded situations, it's so well isolated. It's shot, you know, in the moment, there's no, nothing set up. It's an absolutely beautiful natural moment and everything that we want to see about that emotion is right there in front of us. The beautiful expression on her face, that sort of half reassuring, half, um, you know, half sort of relieved expression of the, of the woman on the left. And what I even like on, is on the right-hand side, the figures on the right sort of show us those traditional elements of, you know, we have those images of the Anzac Day marches. You know, you've got that walk walking stick there so I get the image of you know there's the old sailors there's the young sailors this is representative of everything that, that sort of these sort of moments create and to the author to see this in amongst all the chaos or, you know, that may be there uh, and is and is usually there at this moment it's not something I've seen as cleanly presented and beautifully presented as this and I really think it's it's superior and you know communication I really think we should be talking silver distinction Lani you were on 76 Yeah, thanks, Adam, and thanks, guys, for uh, chatting about this one. Look, I enjoyed the image and um, did feel like it was a well-seen, well-captured, beautiful little moment. So um, I'm listening, obviously. I'm on 76 into the higher level, closer to the Silver Award, so I'm listening to go into the Silver Award. Might need that little bit more to be edged about, but I think um, it is a beautiful image. So I'm not going to... There's nothing I can bring down massively about it. Just think it's a nice, well-captured image. 
Mel, you were just one point away from distinction at 84. Yeah, um, Adam's definitely brought me up into silver distinction with him. Um, I was trying to um, work out what the figures in the background were adding to the the storyline, but I can get that now. It's not very often that you see images that are so tenderly emotional. And when you actually, you look at the face of this little girl and you just about want to cry. She's got this little gentle hand on her mum, but she... She can't believe it. she's back. Mum's even bought her a teddy bear with the, the navy um, bear on it. So it's it, the more I look at this, the more I actually want to burst into tears because the, the emotion in this little girl, you can just see it's, it's starting to well up and it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. So I'll definitely be going up into silver distinction with Adam. Adam, you're right of reply. <coughs> and you know what? The, that I was so taken by that expression. I'm so involved in it that I... I saw saw another. I I wasn't sure what it was, and you say telling me that it's the teddy bear, and it, it it enhances the story even more because he's the the toy that you get for three months, and she could not care less. It's all about her mum, and you know the best wedding poses in the world couldn't make it as natural as expression as what you have on that girl. Uh, it's just uh, I the more I look at it, yeah, I just think it's such a superior piece of visual communication in such a simple moment. And there is all the supporting elements that give you context as to what's going on there around, but it's been so well presented. I'm a little shy even. Though the more I talk about it, the more I sort of think, oh, but I, I encourage you, please get it up into silver distinction. Thank you, judges. Uh, our average is 81. Adam's locked at 88. Everyone else rescore. And it's unanimously a silver distinction, 87. Next print, please. There's no caption for this image. Thank you, judges. This print scores 83, silver award. <laughs> Lani, can we have a comment from you about this one, please? Yeah, this one's very um, challenging, actually. It's um, quite a unique little image. It's, um, it's got this really unique little composition and overlays and um, obviously done in camera that, that sort of is just amazing. Um, so, yeah, congratulations to the author for bringing us something a little bit different. That's why I stepped into the obviously silver category because it exceeded professional image. It, they showed us their camera control um, was of that next level. Thank you very much. Next print, please. Phnom Penh, Cambodian. A female wearing no helmet, riding the scooter with a passenger whom is wearing a helmet, having a sociable moment in the traffic. This print scores 66. Uh, Adam, can I call on you for something the author can look at to improve this image? Uh, again, it, it's it's there's technical issues in, in sort of not so much as focusing, just the clarity in the print is, is just not there. And again, the aspect and the crop, just there's a moment in there, but it's just lost in amongst all the other elements. So just a, a clearer idea of what the subject is that we're looking at. 
and again, yeah. And maybe uh, looking at um, different presentation options as well, again, matting like differently. It's similar, well, yeah, that yeah, come and see us about maybe different ways of, of presenting these images. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Next print, please. The 2015 earthquakes that devastated parts of Nepal still affect the locals. The Cadgisses lost their home and slaughterhouse, and while they rebuild, they are forced to skirt government regulations and process livestock on the cobblestone streets of Patan, Kathmandu. This print scores 85, a silver with distinction. Is that a challenge? <laughs> you shouldn't be hesitant. You're in gold on 90. So uh, there's an 88, 86, an 81 and an 82 for you, Rob. Um, I <laughs> it's a hideous scene and uh, it's been captured by this photographer uh, in the most brilliant way. Um, it, it's disturbing on, on, at so many levels. And uh, the, the expression on the guy, on the, let's call him a butcher, um, just says it all as well because he knows he has to do it but it's even upsetting him you can just the, the look of strain and uh, uh, and it's survival it's 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 and the the color palette in there and the it's it's just it's just a hideous scene that, that's been captured in, a, in the most amazing way in a simplistic way because all the elements in there are are just part of 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 life uh, uh, that we don't know that we don't see and we would never understand and uh it's been captured just absolutely beautifully it's it's a gold 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 i'm gonna go to mel first on 81 and then lani <coughs> i um are definitely looking at it three different um different eyes now I suppose um, there's a lot of stuff in there that I suppose it's actually a very hard image to look at um, so I've been fairly unjust to it it should go up I'm not sure how far up at this point but um, yeah that expression that um, that narrative of even he doesn't want to be there um, and doing this is um, is what's now pushing me up higher Nani, you were on 88. Yeah, and I'm going to gold, definitely. I've probably been a bit weak on this one. Um, s when I said, when I judged it and I, um, I was like straight away um, in, um, in a higher range. But uh, the reason why I'm going for gold is <laughs> the impact. This image is never going to leave my mind regardless of anything. It's just the story, the narrative. Um, and the way that it's been shot, I mean, it's pure doco. The angle that the photographer's actually taken it on could have been um, shot any any multiple ways, but they've shot it with a pure doco mind, um, down low, so you sort of um, you, you feel like you're down on the level of the of the subject in the in the foreground. That leads you to the guy in the back, that leads you to the left of the cow, and then you go to the I don't know what animal is on the back of that bike, but y you circle around this image, and for me, that's what is um, a solid gold, an image that A, doesn't make, you're never going to forget this image. 
this image will always be in your mind. And this is an image I think if it was printed on a anywhere it would um, blow many of people's minds. Um, and that keeps you continually looking at it and you can't stop staring at it once you're in there, you don't leave. So that's solid gold. I think we need to reward the author for um, giving us pure photography, pure documentary and telling the story and execu executing it. Since we are discussing a gold potentially, um, Adam, you'd like to speak as well from 86. Yeah, I, I was a little on the fence at the first time because we do see sometimes these scenes of, of, of like that. But my initial thought, the more I looked at it, was first of all, I hear the caption about this is, a, you know, this is illegal, this is not you know, allowed, is that you know, it's a very brave frame because if you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing, you're not going to be very thrilled about being photographed doing it. He could not give a, you know, the expression, he's so in, in, ensconced in that. And that's the first thing that, that sort of added as we're talking to it. The second thing that sort of occurred to me is the use of the palette and the, the colour red is often, you know, very visceral, very evocative and yet, and it is there and it leads around, yet it's it still, I found myself still not, even the bit of the red at the back, I looked again and went, oh my God, look at that you know, thing on the bike, you know, it's replacing a human. The more I look at the image, the more I'm just, yeah, I, I, I can't agree more but to, to get it up there because I think it's so well seen, so well captured in a very brave frame as well and we really need to reward broad that I'm, I'm absolutely with you guys and chris you're on 82 yeah, i i did undervalue this at a silver um I, please bring it home to me because um, I, I do want to go up as high as i can um what uh you're right about the, the guy that's the doing the, the gutting whatever he's doing the butcher um he doesn't want to be there what has added for me just listening to everyone in the last minute or two is mm -hmm. the, the the biggest element for me is the steam coming off the the cow uh opportunity cow um it, it suddenly brings that whole image literally alive um, it, it, and it just makes his grimace, it, it, uh, it just adds uh, adds to that to, to that emotion of him. Uh, so uh, bring it home. Rob? Well, there's probably not much more we can say other than, you know, the fact that it's um, uh, an incredible piece of uh, communication and, uh, and let's just go gold. Um, I'm sure we'll... That's the, the mindset of everybody. So our average score is 85. Rob's locked in at 90. And our judges agree with gold, 92. <laughs> Very cool. Let's have the next print, please. As the sun rises, firefighters keep spectators away from flying debris that is both still burning and exhausted. The debris has been created from a fire tornado during a control burn. This print scores 83, silver award. And there's a challenge already. Lani's on 88. And you're not entirely alone because Chris is on 85. Then there's an 83, 82 and a 78. Take it away, Lani. Let's do this. So, um, <laughs> look, guys, this spun around and um, straight away I went, oh, someone's been to Mars and I didn't know. Um, <laughs> and because I really want to go to Mars, I'm weirdly <laughs> geekily obsessed with it. I don't know if I'll get to it in my lifetime, maybe my children. But anyway... Um, so, so that straight away I thought, and then obviously the, the description of what it was, and I thought that's, that's straight away well, I love that impact that it questioned where I was, at where, w where we were, and I love that it almost has this uh, contrast of, I could see this hanging in a big art gallery, the two little um, uh, humans in the front and the beautiful, um, you know, obviously the depth, I love the depth of the, um, story so far away as well and the big whoosh of cloud and obviously the green and I'm just describing what we're seeing but 
it's the little the little details, intricate details of um, obviously the sparks of, um, I don't even know what the technical thing would be, but the little sparks of things that have come from the fire that have been captured um, that really set me off as well. And I thought this photographer just hasn't arrived to the location and taken a photo and gone, oh, I'm going to take this photo. They've really um, thought about the process of what they're documenting here. And that to me takes you up into that level of super superior and higher level of, of visual communication because yeah, again, it's it, it's such a unique image. I'll keep looking at everybody. Let's go see the distinction. Rob, you were 10 points away from Lani on 78. And then I might hear from Chris, who is in silver distinction. Uh, at least once in an awards um, weekend like this, you press the buttons and you go, oh, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> I just hope that somebody, you know, is smart enough to put in 85 so it's challenged. And... Um, and that was one of those times. So I apologise to the author because I, I, um, I, I'll, I'll be, I, I, it's going into silver distinction. I don't think without any doubt. Chris, eighty-five. I, I again, uh, I fully expected challenges myself. So I'm glad there was two of us at, at this level. Um, the glow was absolutely gorgeous. I'm a, I, 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 I'm a printer. It, it's printed beautifully. The, the, the palette, as you said, is very Mars-esque. I just love the glow that, that you get from the the, the, the funnel as it, it hits the it hits the people in the foreground. Plus, it, it illuminates everyone on the on, on the background. The composition is perfect. Um, just the people down on the bottom left uh, uh, balance beautifully, but just that little tuft of smoke on the on the, on the top right. And the thing that really got me was the debris. Um, I went up and immediately I thought, oh, it's a truckload of specks and crap on the print. But it's not. It's it that, that that's the image and that's the debris we're talking about. Some of them are on fire. Some aren't. Um, it's, it, it is one of those prints where when you do get up really, really close, uh, you are gro very, very greatly rewarded uh, for that. So um, I, I'm silver distinction, please. Love. Yeah, yeah, to bring it home, I think that's exactly right. You're rewarded sitting back here. I can tell you that someone from the back of the room would want to would be staring at this as a as a unique um, piece to go up and look at. And when you get up even closer with the debris, <laughs> I couldn't figure out what the word was. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, and the layers, the layers and the depth of this image. This is definitely high level of visual communication. Let's bring it up into silver distinction. Our average score is 83. Lani has an 88. Everyone else can rescore. And we have five eighty eights, which gives us an eighty eight silver distinction. It's rare that that happens. Can we have a blank screen, please? Because that's the end of this category. I like that little glove. <laughs> Thank you very much to our judges, particularly the three down the end who have basically sat on this entire panel. So thank you guys so much. Now, you get the briefest of breaks.